Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about across social media, fans and loved ones are reacting to the death of Peter Green. The dexterous blues guitarist, who led the first incarnation of Fleetwood Mac in a career shortened by psychedelic drugs and mental illness, died at 73. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Founding Fleetwood Mac member, Peter Green, died at 73, his family announced in a statement. Photo, Mark Lenehan, AP, across social media, fans and celebs are reacting to the death of Peter Green. The dexterous blues guitarist, who led the first incarnation of Fleetwood Mac in a career shortened by psychedelic drugs and mental illness, died at 73. A law firm representing his family, Swan Turton, announced the death in a statement Saturday. It said he died, peacefully in his sleep, this weekend. A further statement will be issued in the coming days. Many took to Twitter to say their piece about Green and his influence. Geezer Butler, a founding member of Black Sabbath, tweeted a black and white image of Green. Sad to hear of Peter Green passing one of the greats. Rip, he wrote. The Smiths' Johnny Marr posted an old photo of Green playing the guitar and tweeted, R.I.P. Peter Green. A unique artist and a beautiful guitar player. British singer-songwriter, Yusuf Islam better known as Cat Stevens, shared a throwback photo of Green and wrote about how the late artist inspired him. God bless the ineffable Peter Green, one of the unsung heroes of musical integrity, innovation and spirit, Stevens tweeted. When I heard he left Fleetwood Mac in 1970 to get a real life and donate his wealth to charity, he became something of a model for me. And British guitarist Bernie Marsden shared a photo of him and Green and wrote a heartfelt tribute to the late Fleetwood Mac member. I'm just thinking of the times we spent together in the last couple of years, hanging out with him at his home was very special. A memory I'll cherish. He made me laugh, cry, wonder, and never failed to make me pinch myself when we were alone one to one, Marsden wrote. There I was, sat with my hero. Copyright 2020 USA Today, a division of Gannett Satellite Information Network, LLC.